tote bags. It's Miss Philly. It's a beautiful day today. It's nice and shiny. I don't know if you can see the sun. Um, we are at Salvation, no, not Salvation Army, Value Village. And, um, yeah, it's like 9 a.m., fresh in the morning to go thrifting. Bag of the day is Mark Jacobs. Well, marked by Mark Jacobs, not to my wallet. If I see anything inside worth filming, I will show you. But it's happy Friday to everybody. All right, so the first thing I wanted to show you was this fake Chanel. Um, funny, it has Chanel everywhere. Even Chanel on the grommets. Even the inside, similar but not exactly to Chanel lining. But even the, that looks really good. That reminds me of my GST actually. And then you have this. But it's ripped inside. And I don't think there's a Chanel label. Let's see. Yeah, there's no Chanel label. But like for fakes, the way this one is made, I'd say it's like an 8 out of. Well, maybe like a 7.5 out of 10. And they want $10 for it. it. Oh, I don't. Is this real fossil? I don't think it is. It might be. Actually, I think it is real fossil, but it seems to be like too small of a bag to resell, in my opinion. Thirty bucks. I don't know. It looks really worn. Yeah. I learned the other lug bag that I got and I resold, I lost actually $13 on it. So I kind of learned my lesson not to buy high. It's just too worn to resell. So here's the one that we're looking at. I don't think it's authentic. Yeah, it's not authentic. You can tell because the interior sloppiness of the label and it's not real leather. So there was nothing there, but it was okay. It's a beautiful day and I didn't really waste my gas because I'm already, you know, in the area anyway. I'm going to go meet Nancy Life TV at St. Vitale because the new Mac collection is out. The Juicy Tutti Fruity or whatever it's called. Is that guy cute? No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, I'll turn the camera on if there's anything interesting. thrift store value village their superstore we're going to see if they have anything worth getting bag of the day is my mark jacobs okay so i see this but they want 60 dollars for it kind of expensive no bueno enjoy um, Bayou Shack micro cassette. It's brand new in package. Three of them. One of them sells on Amazon for 30 bucks. So, this being a three pack, that's a really good deal. It's sealed, and we're gonna grab that and hopefully make some coin with this, which I thought is kind of funny. Scrub away our tears. This washes away tears, sadness, hurt feelings, broken hearts, and depression. This up for me, this lug bag. And it's like in really good condition. A little bit of wear there, but nothing major. For 15 bucks, that's kind of a really good deal. Okay, now we're gonna go to her section and see if we find anything cute. What was that Burberry? Yes, it is. I think so. I think it's fake. Do you? Yeah, that's it's three, it's three dollars. <laughs> three dollars for a fake Burberry. I'm gonna look at these two bags and at Michael Kors. Right there, the pink one. So I want to show you guys a fake coach. They want ten dollars for it. Label looks good except for the numbers, and um, 
I could tell by the strap too that the strap is kind of poor quality, so. At, um, I passed on the coach one because I didn't really uh, like it. The very bands didn't fit my face, but they were really good. Like, they're really pretty. <clears throat> and, yeah, we're gonna get that. Um, 21st? No. Wait. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're gonna get the coach. It's a little bit kind of expensive with uh, being 49 in, but I do have a 30% off coupon. So we're going to use those, and then we're gonna go to the thrift store, Salvation Army. Better lock the door. I found, I ended up not getting that coach bag because it was $49.99. There was a little bit of wear, like not extreme wear, but a little bit. And then there was no long crossbody strap, so that will be a problem. Um, I found a Danny Leather wallet, looks so luxe, and usually Danny Leather doesn't look as luxe as that. Danny Leather is a hit and miss. Some things can be cheap, some things can seem luxe, but. I'll show you guys that in a haul. There's pouch shaders and it's authentic, but someone cut off like the strap there and apparently it's not even, it's not even leather because the inside tag says that it's synthetic face and interior. Let's see, it says Michael, the Michael Kors. And the shell and back are synthetic. I don't even know what I would use this for, but six bucks um, I guess I'm gonna put it back because I'm I don't know I'm not gonna use this anyway Ooh, like a fake Gucci right there and a coach so we're gonna look at those so we're going to Coldona and MCC thrift I'm gonna check it out I haven't been here in a long 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 time so we'll see how it is here these people sell online so they kind of price a little bit high but I was able to haggle things here before and I've sold some good things here before like moccasin gloves or like muckluck gloves and a silver, tea, a silver uh, comb beauty set that I thrifted from here but yeah we'll see what's inside so it's pretty big here but I haven't found anything substantial or good really um, everything is really overpriced as I expected. So we'll just look around one more time. Otherwise, I haven't found anything. I can see this bag here, the black one. The purse? Yes. Yeah. This is fifty dollars, but it's like really, really worn. That, yeah, that um, really cute coach, a vintage coach uh, crossbody, but it's really tiny. You can barely fit anything in it, and they want forty dollars for it, so it's a little bit expensive. So I'm not gonna get it, but it's really cute. The leather is really, really nice. And it's actually made in USA, so not made in China. Um, there was this talk boy that I want to get, but this lady asked to put it on hold. I don't know if she's going to get it or not. If she doesn't get it, then I'm going to get it because, I don't know, it's such a good, like, vintage piece that might sell. Coach and Michael Kors, but I think the Michael Kors might be fake, but we're going to check it out anyway and see what it's like. They're probably going to be really expensive. This one's $59. That one's $149. I don't know how much this one is, but we'll check it out. Okay, so I passed on all the bags because, number one, 
the Michael Kors didn't have a uh, serial number. And I know sometimes Michael Kors bags don't have a serial number. Either they get ripped out or I don't know. I've experienced Michael Kors with no serial number before, as weird as that sounds. And I know that it's authentic. Um, number two, the coaches were filthy, so I didn't get those. And they were priced at $49.99 for the black one, $59.99 for the um, white one. And then the, oh, this looks like a good leather bag. An overpriced bag, $40 for this Danny leather bag. It's cute, but not for that price. The coach bag that was leather, that one was $69.99, but it was filthy AF. So that's why we decided to pass on those bags because I'm, I'm very picky now with what I resell because, you know, I sometimes lose some money and that's not why I'm reselling. I don't want to lose money, you know? Anyway, if I see anything interesting here, I will open up the cam. Otherwise, we will end this vlog. Bye, guys. for $3.99, which is awesome because they usually have those priced between $7.99 to $9.99, sometimes even more actually, sometimes 20 bucks. And so that was a deal. And also the lady told me that they had two other Michael Kors bags yesterday that I missed and they were only priced at $70 and she said it was in better condition, <sighs> which is unfortunate. That's why sometimes I need to go like, Sometimes I don't like going a lot because then you miss, because then I don't find anything. And then sometimes when I don't go, that's when they have some good stuff. So it's really a hit and miss when you go. Oh well, you score some, you lose some. So on this thrifting adventure, this is really all that I got. This isn't part of thrifting, but I got these Cokes because they were on sale. Coke Zero. You get six, um, I think they're, I guess, 710 milliliters for $5. So you get like one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 um, bottles of 710 milliliters for $5, which is a deal. I got some rice cakes because I get hungry frequently. This lug bag. This was a deal of the day. Um, this I'm going to post on Amazon. And this is for myself. It's a very, this is the one I was going to show you guys. It's a Lux Daniel leather wallet. It feels so soft, beautiful hardware. The inside just looks totally Lux as well. It's very soft. This probably retailed for over $100 back in the day when Daniel leather was still popular. But it has the Daniel logo there, slit pocket here, cards here. Um, it's just really, really well made. So I think it's also made in Canada. Um, probably going to keep this for myself. And I got 30% um, uh, off of this. So that was a deal. Anyway, sorry, that's all I really have to show for you guys today. <laughs> Went on a lot of adventures or a lot of places, but I didn't really find much. So I guess it was a little bit of a fail. But, well, let's say semi-fail. Anyways, until my next video, bye guys. So I want to talk a little bit about... Um, the bags I saw at Value Village, they were really overpriced. Mm -hmm. My screen turns into my iPhone like that. I think it's kind of cool. Um, yeah. um, so I'm just on my way to pick up a Michael Kors bag because I just saw Plato's Closet posted on Instagram. So I'm trying to rush there. They don't hold, hold on. They don't hold, they don't allow holds over social media. And, um, they don't allow you to purchase it over the phone like other locations here where I live. So I'm trying to rush there right now. It's going to take me like 20 minutes to drive there. And I'm just fearful that when I get there, they're not going to have the bag anymore, which is going to be such a waste of gas because it's priced at $80. And that's such a good price for a Michael Kors. And I have a 20% off coupon. So I'm really hoping that it's there when I get there. An 18, let's see how fast I get there without breaking the law and speeding. <laughs> okay guys, I'm halfway there. It's been uh, six minutes. I'm on the highway. I'm taking the highway and I hate driving on the highway just so I can get there ASAP. But I'm halfway there. Um, it's probably going to take me another 10 minutes to get there. So hopefully I get the bag. Okay, so I'm pulling up. Oh my gosh, I hope it's there. Frick isn't I'm going to be so freaking annoyed. It looks busy too. She said it wasn't busy, but it looks busy. Oh, it's there. 
I'm actually wearing workout gear that I'm sweating in already. So we'll see. It literally sold five minutes ago. So annoying. I had to waste my time coming down here. Ugh. Waste of gas. Like why can't they hold it on? Ugh, it just pisses me off. The funny thing is though, if she actually meant that it was five minutes ago, then if it was five minutes ago, I was actually looking for my keys for 10 minutes and I couldn't find it and I also had to use the bathroom. So that took up about 20 minutes of me. So maybe it just wasn't meant to be. Maybe the condition wasn't as good as I thought because it was pricey. I don't know. I'm just kind of annoyed right now. I'm going to go to Value Village and hopefully I find something there. Since I'm out, we're going to Value Village. I might go to the Value Village by Polo Park too. Sorry, Jean, if my videos are making you dizzy. <laughs> I'm trying to hold the camera as steady as possible. Um, and plus, I just used my iPhone 7. But if I see anything interesting, we'll turn the camera on. Okay, so I see it clearly St. Louis, I think. And the log is way too expensive, so we're not going to get that. But we'll take a look at the that. I think I look at the Juicy because Juicy seems to sell well for me and I think that's a coach but I'm not 100% sure. It could be a Daniel leather bag. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, yeah. So we have two coach purses and a Juicy Couture. I'm um, oh, sorry, can I also look at this? Yes. Uh, yeah. I think I can really sell these for a good price. So we have a fake Gucci right here. It doesn't even say Gucci inside. But it's an obvious fake Gucci. So look around and see if you find anything worth getting. I have a lot to look at. What's this? Send this to Brody. <laughs> this is the real deal. Mwah, right here. Oh, 
probably be worse in the summer. It'll be all hot and sweaty.